Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm showing you guys some amazing ways you can reuse your old picture frames or some thrifted picture frames or you could even use Dollar Tree frames. It doesn't matter, you can get them from anywhere, but here is some really fun ways on how to use them when you no longer want them. first DIY I'll be using two of these smaller frames. I did paint them white a while ago and I left them as is and did nothing with them. I'm using these galvanized pieces from Dollar Tree and I'm just hot gluing them right to the backs and so far so good. This has not come off or fell off nothing like that. So this actually holds up pretty well. And I've had these galvanized pieces for so long. I know they still have them at Dollar Tree at mine. They have a ton of galvanized items. I just think they're so pretty. And then I buy them and then I never know what to do with some of this stuff. So I think I just use a Waverly chalk paint in white to paint these frames. And now I'm just dry brushing them with the color truffle by Waverly as well. So I decided to do this to both. I like that rustic look, but if you don't, you could just leave the white frames as is, but this is just a really fun way to even redo any sort of frame that you have in your home. You can always paint it a different color and then you can always add whatever you choose to on the inside. I thought this was really fun and these fit perfectly. So I picked up these signs from Dollar General for a dollar and I ripped the little farm animals off the centers of them and it was really easy. It took two seconds and then now I'm just gluing those farm animals right to the center. They did also have a chicken. But the chickens just never really look like chickens or they don't look like roosters. They just kind of look like a weird blob. So I did just go with the cow and the pig and this is what it looks like when it is done and I think they are adorable. the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so this next diy i'm using this frame right here and this was a dollar 49 from goodwill i'm also using this chalkboard circle this is from michael's when they had a spring sale so i got this for i want to say under a dollar for like a four pack of these so once that was done i just decided to use a silk screen transfer this is from amazon and i will link it for you if i can find it in the description box below um if not i will try to find something similar off of amazon they have a ton of reasonably priced silk screen transfers although i don't think they last as long as a chalk couture silk screen transfer but i have been able to use some of them multiple times without having any issues uh, but some i've been able to use once or twice and then it, they just don't seem to stick at all no matter what i do or how many times i rewash them but i love the background of this sign so i decided to keep it as is and i think this is super pretty and it is super simple many times before next one I picked this up at Goodwill as well we have like an outlet it's not technically called an outlet Goodwill but it is really inexpensive and the prices do are different than the sticker tags um, so I just ripped off that handle or actually unscrewed it because I'm gonna be putting that back this cost I want to say two dollars and 49 cents for this frame maybe it was 349 still pretty inexpensive and it was brand new with the tags so the wood color just was not my thing so I did go with the wave light chalk paint I did two coats of this paint and then once this was done I did just put this back together I actually didn't want to do anything crazy with this frame I did really just want it to be a frame for pictures so that is actually what I did with it so that's the fun part is that when you're crafting you can customize things to however you would like and if you pick up something or if you have even something in your home use those old picture frames use the things in the closet that you're not going to use I did sand this down to distress it and now I'm using the Waverly clear wax to cover this I did do one light coat because this does seem pretty sticky once it dries so I did just a very light coat just to make sure that the paint won't peel off because I will be hanging this or putting this up in my home so I added that handle back and then I did end up adding some pictures of my goats into this so I have lots of pictures of my kids but I love my goats just as much so this is a five by seven frame and I I picked these up at Walmart for pretty inexpensive. So this was under, I want to say under $10 to put this whole thing together. And I think this is adorable. I love the black and white photos. This 
one, I'm using this teal chalkboard. It was originally from a Target, but I got it for $1.49. And I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And I did two coats of this because that teal was coming through for whatever reason. I thought this would be way easier to paint than what it was. But two coats of this, not a big deal. And I'm going to be actually attaching this to a frame you're going to see in just a second. So I've had the frame I'm going to be using. It's a large wooden frame. I've been waiting for a really good day to spray paint and it's not going to happen for a while. So I've had this big wood frame. I'm using the color ink in the Waverly chalk paint and I don't even really know why I bought this frame. So it's funny because sometimes I go to yard sales and I think this was from a yard sale over the summer and it was like 50 cents or a quarter. And I always feel like if I can pick something up for that inexpensive that I have to use it for something. So I'm using these half wood beads for that chalkboard that I painted white and I'm just going to be hot gluing all of these beads. I promise I will not show you every single bead being glued down but you get the whole point and I kind of did space them out so they would all fit evenly. I'm using these on the farm transfers. This is on the Dixie Bell website and I will link these for you too if you would like but I've used a set of these or a roll of these last year and I bought more because I love them and there's so many different ideas that I have in mind for these and you don't really see farmhouse rub-on transfers very often. So I'm using the truck and I'm also using the welcome to the farm rub-on transfer. And I think this looks really good together. Although like on the rub-on transfer, it didn't really show to use these together, but it's fun because you can customize and make these however you'd like. So I thought this looked really good and it wasn't something that I did in the past. I kind of did a something a little bit different. Now I'm just using a ton of hot glue to glue this together and believe it or not, this Gorilla Glue is amazing. I feel like I can never pull anything apart once it's done, but this is what it looks like when it is completely finished and I think this looks so good with the wood and the white and the black. This next one is not a frame, but it was something that I wanted to paint and get done. I recently bought this and I was like, I've got to do something with this. It is so cute. Um, it is just a, I want to say it's for cookbooks. You're supposed to hang it on your wall, which I found that odd. So maybe it's completely not for a cookbook, but it had a wall hook and that's how you're supposed to hang it. It didn't have a stand on the back or nothing like that. So I am just rusting it against something for now. Um, but this was a $1.49 from Goodwill. I think everything I buy from Goodwill is always $1.49. I feel like that's my number to spend when I go to Goodwill because the normal Goodwill is so expensive. So I just choose to spend $1.49 or under. So I painted it Waverly chalk paint in white and then now I'm using a chalk couture silk screen transfer. This is actually the April chalk couture club couture transfer of the month. So if you sign up for Club Couture, this is the first transfer you will get along with your chalk paste. I'm using the Acadia. I want to say I'm saying that right. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. This is the March chalk paste. So if you spend a certain amount of money or you want to purchase it, it is available for March. They always have different colors and I had to have this one. I think this is actually really pretty. I don't usually go out of my comfort zone when it comes to color, but for some reason, like these teal blues and these light baby blues or light teals kind of have me. So once this was done, I used the black and that it's not Acadia. I can't think of what it's called. I'll link it down below for you guys, but I end up just adding that knob, painting it black, and this is what it looks like when it is done. And I think this is so pretty. This transfer is right up my alley. I was so excited to receive this. And there you have it. A really cute cookbook holder that does not stand up. I'm reusing this frame for the third time. 
I've used this, this is the third time. I love reusing items. It's free. So that's the great thing about it. I grabbed this sticky wallpaper from a Dollar Tree and I didn't cut it down at first. I just figured we will wing this and then we will cut later. I normally have a really hard time using any sort of sticky wallpaper. I don't know why I think my patience is just not good for this, but it did work out really good. I did have a little bit of patience this time and I'm like, yep, I was right. I should not have cut it down. I will cut it and it worked out perfectly. This worked out nice. I have a little box cutter to cut the excess apart and this works good. I think this is like my favorite DIY I've done with this frame. So I actually plan on keeping this around for a while. It's a little boho theme, but I really like it. So I got this I Love Us frame. This was recently from Dollar General, only $1, which is always amazing to find dollar items at Dollar General. Added a ton of hot glue and just added this sign right to the center. So, so far this is not peeled up as far as the wallpaper. So I'm pretty impressed with the good old Dollar Tree, but this is what it looks like when it's done. I feel like this was like made for this frame, for sure. to last but all the fun times we had i'll never forget it's diy 99 cents for this frame it was brand new and that is awesome one dollar under a dollar using jenga blocks from dollar tree i'm just going to be adding these to the center of the frame to make a fun tray so i don't normally use jenga blocks and when i had this all laid out at first it was working amazing. And then sometimes you get those Jenga blocks that aren't the right size. So this did have a tiny little gap, which I probably could fill in with wood glue and I may do that eventually. Um, but this is just a really fun way to reuse a frame and turn it into a not frame, turn it into a, a fun little tray. And you could stain these pieces if you choose. I really like this wood color, so I left it as is, but the possibilities are unless you could paint it, so you could do whatever you choose to. Uh, but for whatever reason, this frame actually fit these perfect. I did have to actually go buy more Jenga blocks because I was nine short, of course. But this is what it looks like when it's done. You can kind of see that gap. And I think it was just because I used Jenga blocks that were not the correct size for, anyways. It still looks really cool. And then when you add your decor to it, you cannot even tell or you don't even look at that tiny little gap. I don't even know if you saw it. Maybe, maybe you did because I said something, but this is what it looks like. I think it's adorable. If you have these farm animals from Dollar Tree and you are still up in the air of what to do with it, this is a really fun way to use these uh, with a large sign. So I just decided to pull these apart. It is not as hard as I was making it look on camera. So once I figured out how to do one of them, the other ones are pretty easy. I just kind of wiggle it back and forth and it pops right out of that stand. And then I did have to cut them down just a little bit because you can see the bottom does not look like feet. So I did have to pull and cut and just figure that out later on. Um, I thought I could fit them on this sign right here that you just saw me do a DIY with. Um, I don't know. It didn't work. I don't know what I was thinking when I thought all these animals would fit. I was like laying in the mountain like this. They don't even, what was I thinking? Uh, luckily, I have tons of signs, tons of frames. So we are good to go on that. Uh, once these were pulled apart, I decided to paint them. So I did use the Waverly Chalk paint in white and I painted the three of them. I painted two on the back sides and one on the front, which obviously the wood was a lot easier to paint than the black chalkboard. Uh, but we made it through. We made it through it. We did it. It was done. It didn't take that long. Use your hair dryer, dry it out to do a second coat. It's good to go. Um, but I wanted them absolutely facing different ways when I was adding these together because we're going to be stacking these little bad boys. I love the stacked animals look. I think it's so cute. Um, if you guys didn't know, I love all farm animals. I just love them. I love decorating with them. I love everything. I just love it. So now I'm laying them out on this large arrow sign. I got this from a grad sale, three bucks. And I know they are not all picture frames, but sometimes I feel like picture frames and signs are pretty similar to each other. So if you have things like this, this was from someone's baby shower. It said baby shower this way and fun stuff like that. So if you have like wedding decor left over or baby shower stuff that you're like, I don't know what to do with, 
here's a good one for you. It was three bucks for this sign. I don't know if I already said that. Gluing these together and then I am going to be using a Chalk Couture silkscreen transfer. I think they look high end. I love using them. So I try to use them any chance that I get because it's quick and simple and it looks really good. So this one says life is better in the country. So I decided to break this up and do in the country at the bottom. I'm using the colors bright white and eucalyptus for this one. Eucalyptus is my favorite chalk paste ever. I think it is so pretty and it is always like gives that farmhouse vibes away or not or it could give like a summer vibe away if you're not a farmhouse person. So I just used the bottom half of this transfer. Once that was done I peeled it up. It looks so good and then I'm doing life is better uh, towards the top. And that is all I did for this sign. I think this looks good. I did end up dry brushing the farm animals just a little bit because it just wasn't, it didn't seem right to not. It just seemed very plain. So I could have added bows. I could have added something, but this just turned out way better than I thought. Last frame, this did not come with a back. This was as is, it was 75 cents from a yard sale. And I'm using those Dixie Bell rub-on transfers. Once again, I'm using these cotton stems and I'm just laying it on top of the glass. I really enjoy adding these to glass. It is so easy. The Dollar Tree rub-on transfers are also easy to use on glass. And I think it's just really pretty. So you don't have to add a back, nothing, just the glass and the rub-on transfer. guys that is it for my video i hope you enjoyed these fun frame slash sign hacks if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel i would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing and i will see you all in the next one bye